This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI football team was excited to suit up and play the Iowa Hawkeyes in Kinnick Stadium to kick off the 2020 season. But with the Missouri Valley Football Conference and Big Ten Conference moving college football to the spring, head coach Mark Farley and his staff had to make some big adjustments to meet the unexpected challenge. We caught up with the winningest coach in program history, Mark Farley. Coming off the 2019 season, UNI football ranked number five in the nation after an appearance in the FCS quarterfinal round game. UNI was returning eight starters on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. When COVID-19 shut down college athletics in early March, UNI football canceled all of the spring football practice days that would have laid a stronger foundation for a highly anticipated season. When we checked in on June 8th, we really hadn't seen them since March. So really had no idea of what they would look like, if they were gonna come in in shape or out of shape, what they looked like after going their own directions and everybody was separated. And what was noticeable was the commitment to the training that they'd put in because they looked like they had trained. They were, they were fit, they were lean, they were strong, and they were in shape. So we got to start at a very high level in June, which only put us at an extremely high level on August 7th. You know, eight minutes before we go on that, go to our first practice with helmets on, that's when we find out that we don't get our season. So you could almost see the letting the air out of the balloon after all that work and what we looked like and what was the potential of this team, all got knocked out of you. National FCS Publications ranked UNI second and third in their preseason national polls. There were seven Panthers named to All-American list, including Ellerson Smith, who was named the National Defensive Player of the Year. But with the season moved to the spring, a few seniors may not participate. This has the making to be a great team. One, it had talent on it. Two, it had experience on it because of the redshirt seniors. And three, it had great chemistry. And those pieces came together a lot because of what happened to them. It was, you know, the talent, it was developed. The, uh, the experience was the older guys were talking about that had great talent and great experience. But the COVID really created the chemistry because of what they had to do outside of the dome, what, outside of the team to work. I mean, we had mothers buying weights. We had parents putting weight rooms together for their kids. And then we had groups of guys working all over town in different houses and different groups because they wanted to continue to train. And they actually did a phenomenal job in those areas because of how they came back, they were ready to play. As the UNI football program waits on decisions about the FCS playoffs and a spring season, seniors are deciding between moving on or competing in 2021. But you can bet that everyone in the UNI football program is working to get better this fall. We need to make, we need to find a way to bring our team to peak for the spring season. And we have to find a way to do that in how we set up our programming, our lifting, our running. We have to redevelop all that, reset that, and re-energize our football team after losing something after you set them up for this is it now you have to kind of re as i say reset the chains it's like coming out after after getting beat up in the first half you got to find a way to win the second half well we're in the second half now and we're going to have to adapt and make a halftime plan that will has been untried but it's going to have to work if we're going to be successful in the spring playing the spring season